almost all of these pictures are taken by uh, spacecraft with telescopes on board, um, which either flew past the planet or orbited it or landed on the surface of that planet. The images originate with missions that range from the lunar orbiter series of the 60s, those are the earliest pictures here, to really cutting edge shots from Saturn and Mars uh, from probes that are still working today. Basically what I did is I went in and I served as curator of a vast number of images. I searched through hundreds of thousands of raw frames uh, from Voyager and Viking and so forth. The Viking was a Mars orbiter of the 70s and, and 80s. Um, looking for the extraordinary shots. I also have an eye for abstraction, I have to confess, and I like um, pi pictures that, that um, subvert expectation a bit. This is a global dust storm on Mars, um, and it's comprised of about 90 individual uh, frames from the Viking orbiter of the late 70s, early 80s. Mars is the only uh, planet that we know of that has global storms, and so this is, a, I think, a really good example of, of that. Um, and I find that it has an almost biblical fury. This image is the one I'm most proud of from the entire Beyond project. You can see Europa, this is one of the moons of Jupiter, in front of the vast face of the largest planet in the solar system. And this is the Great Red Spot, which is a huge storm system, more than twice as large as the Earth, which has been raging for at least 300 years. Europa is one of the most enigmatic places in the solar system. It's an ice-covered ocean. Uh, the ice is not that thick. It's about as thick as the skin of a grape would be to the grape itself. Underneath is liquid water, um, and it's one of the leading candidates for uh, extraterrestrial life. This is another moon of Jupiter. This is called Io and it's the most volcanic object ever seen by humanity. It's um, constantly erupting. and has something like 200 active volcanoes that we know of. There are probably many, many more. And the color is due to sulfur. This is true color. With Saturn, you can't go wrong. I mean, you can't take a bad picture of Saturn. This is the result of the very good eye of a collaborator of mine. His name is Gordon Ugarković. You see the rings here, but they're, they're rather dark. They're darker than in some other shots, and that's because the sun is below the rings. You're seeing a negative image of what you would see if you were looking at the lit side of the rings. I really love this shot because, you know, we wouldn't be able to take pictures like this if it hadn't been for certain research conducted here in Greece uh, a long time ago. You can see sand blowing into the Mediterranean from the vast desert in North, North Africa, the Sahara. You can see smoke from burning forests here in the, uh, in the southern uh, Adriatic Sea blowing into the Mediterranean. At times I almost felt like I was on one of, on one of these voyages. Yeah.